Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen and everyone else, to High Latency. Your girl Nali J is back in the hot seat, bringing you another Planet Zoo time scenario. Total Rock Wildlife Orphanage is our new zoo from the Conservation DLC pack that has just dropped and I cannot wait to get into it. I'm going to have to apologize for the quality of my voice. I am recovering from flu, not COVID. So please bear with me, folks. Uh, so the objectives for this time scenario, uh, there are nine. First up, we have uh, researched three habitat species uh, to level two researching the new horse to level three, increasing the total number of habitat animals to eight. So there are two existing in the zoo, so we're adding six with a welfare of 80%. Uh, three uh, habitat species released into the wild, two animal talks per year, four vista points in the zoo, conservation rating of two or five stars, 20% plant diversity across f at least four habitats and powering everything with renewable energy. So it's worth noting that uh, when you first begin this zoo, you can't um, purchase any animal apart from the new horse. I'm just going to call it that for obvious reasons. I'm avoiding uh, trying to pronounce the name. Um, so but that's fine because you know one of the objectives is to research the horse to level three so this is because there's so many objectives um to this time scenario uh i thought i would uh, do the old look at what takes time and look at what we can achieve quickly so some of the objectives that are will be easier to achieve more quickly uh, include, for example, the plant diversity across the habitats or putting in the vista points in the zoo, which um, are just like little markers that encourage people to take photos at particular points of the zoo. So the ones that you want to be looking at early are, for example, the research ones, because you need uh, to uh, level up your research, which obviously takes time. Uh, as well as the um, renewable energy, uh, you need to do research for that. So you're going to need mechanic research as well as your vet research onto that. You see, I'm still checking back and the horses are, the, are still the only animal that have been unlocked. So I have just started to put in a few of the other things such as educator talks uh in an attempt to increase the uh conservation rating as well as meeting the objective of two animal talks per year so your conservation rating i find this one is often hard to um make increase uh quickly um but what i my approach is usually to make sure there are tons of recycling bins um Make sure that your education is up there, that you've got your education boards around the zoo and also that you are releasing animals into the wild. So you may notice that uh, of the two existing um, habitat species here, we've got the um, Indian peafowl and the um, Chinese pangolin. Uh, they've already got babies, <laughs> which is good. Um, so once they mature, you can release those into the wild to um, count towards the objective of releasing three different species. I've just put in some education boards along here, which is the walk from the entrance to try and get my guests education rating up uh, from the minute they step foot into the zoo. I always do find these a little bit fiddly. I'm wondering if there's a more efficient way of setting them all up. If you know, please enlighten me in the comments below. So here I am just checking the amount of um, Indian peafowls. It's quite a lot. Um, and you do get uh, 
habitat cleanliness issues if it's not managed properly. So just keep an eye on that because the area is quite small. Uh, it's one of those things where animals don't mind having so many because a lot of them are still juvenile. But in terms of the poop levels, they can get quite high. So I put my horses over here, uh, just because it was a pre-made one, I could put them in quickly um, to start the research on them. I don't know if it's actually <laughs> designed to be a horse enclosure. I mean, oh no, there's one swimming now. I was going to say I'm not sure if they could swim, which is kind of a silly thing because I've seen horses at the beach in the ocean. So. Um, finally my animals have unlocked uh, general animals I'm just trying to find um, some animals that are not too expensive uh, that will start bringing in the um, the crowds um, so I can make some more money uh, and I didn't have many conservation credits to work with uh, just trying to be mindful of animals that need a lot of friends like monkeys or animals that are um, prone to being shy. Although I did end up going with the red panda and they can get quite disturbed by the crowds, but I um, didn't end up having a problem with the red pandas in this zoo, thankfully. So I have chosen the Formosan bear, which um, is a good single animal um, and putting in my first vista point here I actually wasn't sure what a vista point was I had to kind of remind myself um, uh, I guess they just kind of as long as they're powered they work I mean I don't even know if you technically need to put it in a pretty spot or not or if you could just have four next to each other that would count so I don't know about that um, maybe that's something you can uh, fiddle around with yourself and I'm just making the Formosan habitat here um, because it's close to existing infrastructure um, and you may have noticed I like to keep my zoo build small at least for time scenarios just so that I'm not dealing with a lot of walking distance for these staff um, which you know can happen anyway if you don't get your facilities in the right places which kind of happened later on in this game with my horses uh, I started to get hungry because I didn't have the um, work zone set up in the most efficient manner um, and here's where I'm putting in the red pandas again just because close by the existing uh, facilities And accidentally let the red pandas out. <laughs> Zed some guests running, but um, it's a good thing that uh, guest numbers were not one. Of, there it is. <laughs> there they go. Bye. <laughs> it's a good thing that the guest numbers weren't. Um, what was it? Wasn't one of the objectives this time. I think I also had um, yeah my Formosan and black bear escape escapes as well. <laughs> um, I think it's because the um, I for some reason I thought that the uh, the stone walls were um, climb proof but they're not it's the brick walls that are climb proof um, so yep there he goes <laughs> um, man I always have animals escaping um, yep so there's me just trying to uh, fix the wall I mean, I guess I could have just changed it to a red brick, but anyway, I kind of like the look of the, the stone ones anyway. It's a little bit more pretty. Speaking of pretty, some of those um, kids' education uh, plaques and boards, they look really cute. Um, I have a two-year-old and she loves going to the zoo, so... I can't um, wait to have a play around with those and um, see what I can come up with. So um, obviously because the peafowl and pangolin begin with um, 
babies. Uh, those were two of the animals that I released into the wild. And I also had to um, put in the staff zones to help try and manage the um, workload of the staff as I brought in new animals. Yeah, I was trying to do um, two habitats per keeper. Um, I don't know if I ever ended up joining that path to those facilities. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, well, they didn't seem to have too much trouble. I guess they must have just walked to the other staff rooms. That is so funny. Um, okay, so we've got two out of three. We've got one out of two for the mechanic and two out of three of the horse. We got this. I also realized that I had it on the slower speed, so I increased the speed, um, which can be a little bit more stressful, but you need it to help increase those ones that take time, such as the conservation ratings. Uh, it can be, you know, cutting it close if you're just doing it at the first um, speed. So just having a bit of a scout around to see where to put in the remaining uh animals so i have got one two th one two three four five animals so i need three more so i have already purchased the um garials um and wolves so i decided to again put them in over here where they were sort of near um existing facilities and was within the um power footprint that was already there so that I could just make efficient use of um, what's already available to me. I do think that um, some of the zoos that are a bit more, you know, open and not all crammed together um, are pretty. Oh, and there we have the uh, research. So remember to uh, research the horse as part of your three habitat species to level two um, because it doesn't make sense to, uh, you know, try to research four different animals if you only need to research three. Having said that, I had time at the end to um, research more, but um, I was quite slow. I almost used up all of the time um, allocated for this, so for the gold star, so... <laughs> You know, um, you do you. <laughs> I had a bit of trouble here with the water level, so that kind of messed up my plan to have the um, habitat door right next to the staff room, but it's okay. It's all good. And the wolf enclosure, you can see, is right there next to the vista point. I've put my second educator talk in here, so it is year three, so hoping that by the end of oh, that wolfie he's trying to escape not today son <laughs> um hoping by the end of next year the end of year four that the educator talks will count and just moving in some water treatment uh within the existing power footprint now and here's the second research objective pinging so we're on our way uh we have got uh, what is that? Seven left again. So I am adding a few more a staff because the zoo is starting to have some issues and got a little bit more money now uh, that the guests are um, coming into the zoo. So you can see there's um, some of those uh, peafowl habitat cleanliness issues that I <laughs> foreshadowed I'm just trying to get my work zones in correct order I still can't believe I forgot to connect that new staff room to the to the path oh that's so amateur and then my last animal here was the giant panda because I had enough conservation credits and it was the highest appeal so why not um I knew that I probably wouldn't 
have enough time to get a male and a female in here to um, breed for the releasing into the wild but I figured um, that I had enough um, animal pairs that I'd be able to get that somewhere else. So yeah, I've all, all done all of this in quite close quarters, but um, yeah, because I use that horse one, well, it's probably not a horse habitat, um, but because I use that one where the horses are, the, the entrance was kind of off to the side, and I think that definitely um, took up some of the um, keeper's time walking back and forth. Oh, and speaking of amateur, I accidentally put a staff path up to the axolotl, so don't do that or your axolotl will get lonely. So here I'm just expanding out a little bit because there are so many peafowl, um, hoping to give them a little bit more room. Putting uh, Mr. Panda, Miss Panda in, should get the that um, eighth, uh, eighth animal objective. I realise I haven't really spent much time looking at the um, exhibit animal, the axolotl, but it doesn't really need uh, that much attention except when you begin the game you need to adjust the temperature of the enclosure, but it gives you a warning about that anyway. Our panda is in the habitat and we have the first three objectives met. So the Garyels were complaining about the water temperature, but despite the ambient temperature, if that's the right word to use, being within their range, I guess the water was cold, so I've put that in there. And uh, connecting, I forgot to connect the uh, educated talk. There's that conservation rate uh, ticking over there, so that took me just to um, year five. Yeah, that one, I've always found that takes a while. I'm sure there's a better strategy of getting your conservation up, but um, I, I'm not the person to tell you how to do that. And uh, here I am just making some <laughs> gammon vista points. And they are gammon because <laughs> the guests can't actually reach that area because I put a staff path in front of it. But apparently it counts anyway. Oh, no, I'm getting a funny look over here. So, um, Gavin's just curry slang. A bit ridiculous, or like it could mean like you're joking around, like just gammon, but yeah. Oh, and that, um, water treatment over by the axolotl doesn't join up to the path either. So, I don't know what it was with me and paths this day. It was definitely off my game. So, now I'm starting to replace the transformers with the renewable energy, um, since I've researched that. Um,. And wow, those blades look dangerous for the spinning that fast. I made a mistake here. I was just like, oh, I'll just, you know, not using this vet turn, like I'll just delete this transformer. But the, um, uh, the objective is actually to power everything in the zoo, not just only use renewable energy, if you get what I mean. So if you have things that aren't powered by anything, then you're not gonna, it's not gonna tick over. So everything that has power, that needs power, you have to power with um, renewable energy um, or delete it, I suppose. But I don't know if you can delete that section over there. That's kind of like the area where they're showcasing all of the new, or a lot of the new pieces for, um, the DLC. Um, yeah, so this isn't very pretty, but it's a time scenario, so we don't worry too much about aesthetics. <laughs> so the animal talks are about to ping. That's definitely something I could have got earlier if I just, you know, put them in with the pangolin and the peacock. Um, yeah, so you could probably get that sooner. So just fixing up a few little stray things that need powering and the area um over the outer area here is when i realized i needed to um power everything uh, not just what i was using <laughs> so then i looked for another animal to release to the wild 
and uh, realized that the uh, red panda baby had matured so that was the third habitat species to be um, released now this just reflects my less than stellar zoo management skills on a time scenario um, because my um, eight habitat animals objective dropped off <laughs> so I had to uh, just go back and increase the welfare of my animals which um, thankfully wasn't too difficult um, I had enough um, enrichment items unlocked to be able to achieve this um, but it's just one of those things in time scenarios particularly if you're um, starting out doing them or you haven't done them for a while that you can't just achieve something like in career mode and then move on you have to achieve something and then ensure that it stays that way um, which is why it's important to continue doing things like um, maintaining education levels to help um, keep your conservation rating up Ugh. You guys, the pathing really is a hot mess. I'm just sorry I can't be as organized as JW. So we're back on track now with all of the objectives uh, met except the uh, plant diversity. So I just went ahead and started to improve the pandas habitat um, and that's what uh, got us over the line. Once again, apologies for my horrible voice, but hopefully in the next video, I'll be back to normal. And don't forget to check out some of the other high latency videos. Uh, that scary ghost is running the dope GTA series right now. We've got Sims, we've got Elden Ring. So you guys should head on over and have a look at what other games we're covering. Check us out on Insta too. We got a new account over there. All right, cheers guys.